So I just want to do a bit of application cleanup right now. And this is nothing major, but I like to keep things more or less organized so I know where to look for things. And we left our application like this, and I'm looking at appcontent.js. And here, I don't think we actually need to declare this state variable on line 14 at all. As a matter of fact, I want the state to be part of my app component in index.js. And that just makes sense because that's the central location. It's the parent component that's managing uh, sharing state and information between the various components. So I'm going to delete this line entirely. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to get my necessary information as a property, which means I don't even need to set state at all. I can delete this line in my fetch list entirely because that's all going to be handled at the app component level. Because on line 19, every time that uh, JSON changes, every time I call that fetch list function, I'm actually binding the handle post change function in this class with the one in the app class. So everything's being managed automatically, so I can delete that entirely. The only other changes in this file will be down here. Anywhere I'm calling this.state.posts, sh it should be this.props.posts, uh, like that. So here and here on line 40, this.props.posts, which means back in index.js, the only real change I need to make, I don't need to declare the state variable because that's handled by my constructor on line 16. I just need to do the same thing for app content as I do for app header, and that is to pass this prop. So I'll copy and paste. And if I save this now and go back to my web browser, and reload the page, everything should still work. And it does. All right, that's just a little bit of cleanup just to keep things as organized as possible. Let's move on.